Hi, my name is Evan Wardell, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some ambient sound design I've created within the old Seaport environment, as well as a variety of scripting approaches I've used in order to implement it. I'm also taking advantage of Oculus VR integration in this project for use of their HRTFs in audio source localization, but this video will not be going into the details of that integration. Before I go any further, let's have a listen to the environment. As one quick note of acknowledgement, the environment used for this video is called Old Seaport, created by Christopher Fantauzo, and is available for free via the Unity Asset Store. I've included a link to this asset in the description. Now, the first approach to which I'd like to call attention is a setup for randomly generating bird sounds. If we look at the bird generator script, we can see that most of the logic is happening inside of the new sound function. In this, I first determine where the audio source will spawn, setting a random radius within the bounds of min and max values set via the inspector, and then instantiating the audio source that far away from the player based on random horizontal and vertical angles within a hemisphere above the player. Then, I need to determine what sound is going to play. While I'm already randomly selecting from arrays of audio clips, I wanted these sounds to be a bit more variable for this project, playing different bird sounds based on where you are on the map. So, I've created a percent goal value which is used to randomly determine whether a given audio source will play a seagull sound or a crow sound. In other words, a higher percent goal value is more likely to select a seagull sound, and a lower value is more likely to select a crow sound. This value is then set via a bird trigger script, which is placed onto various trigger volumes within the scene, which are then assigned particular percent goal values. Finally, the selected audio clip is played from the newly instantiated audio source, which is then set to be destroyed after the duration of its clip is passed, as well as setting the process to start again after a random delay, again between min and max values set in the inspector. The end result is a wide range of bird sounds playing from a wide range of positions at random intervals, while subtly changing the selection of what will be played based on your environment. Next, I'd like to talk about a somewhat similar system for generating wood creak sounds for the docks in this environment. If we look at this intermittent 2D script, we can see that there is still a central new sound function which generates audio sources and determines the properties of what it will play. However, scrolling down, we can see two new coroutines that add some different functionality. Essentially, my goal was to only generate these sounds directly from the surfaces of the docks themselves, as it would be disorienting for these sounds to come from above like the bird sounds, or from any other non-wooden surfaces in the area. To accomplish this, then, I first find the center position on one of the docks, from which the random positioning will be further set. I iterate through an array of trigger volumes set up on the docks, finding the closest point on each from the player, and then finding the closest point among those. If that closest point is further away than the maximum value which I've set, at which point it wouldn't be realistic to hear the docks creaking, I set the car routine to wait for a random interval and try again. It then keeps repeating this process until the player is near enough to the dock, at which point it generates the audio source at a random position around the center along the horizontal plane. The end result is a randomized wood creaking sound that emits from some nearby point on the nearest dock whenever the player is nearby. Finally, I'd like to briefly touch upon a simple solution used for initialization of the localized water lapping sounds underneath and around the docks. 
in order to provide the impression of small individual waves lapping from specific points around the docks, I implemented these using several separate stationary audio sources around the environment, each playing a looped audio clip of water lapping. While these were alternately assigned two different audio clips, I still wanted to prevent the issue of phasing when the same clip is inevitably heard from two sources at once. To do this, I created a simple start audio at random script, which takes the audio source and its attached clip, and sets the time value of that clip to a random value between 0 and its length before playing. Well, that's all I want to talk about for this project. As always, please feel free to reach out or leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.